know that he already killed the other people and then he come in to attack her when she was asleep. A woman escaping with her life during a brutal quadruple murder that has even veteran law enforcement officials shaken. 42-year-old Mark Gago is accused of killing his family, including his nine-month-old daughter. Deputies say when they got to the scene, he was trying to kill a second child, and that's when they shot and killed him, saving that child. This all happened late Saturday night inside a home on South Barlow Road near Woodburn and Canby. A woman who'd been staying at the home reportedly fought off Gago as he attacked her as well. She and the child deputies rescued are the only two survivors. And this brutal crime has the tight-knit community in rural Clackamas County in disbelief. Elise Haas is live with reaction from neighbors. Elise. Well, Ken and Jenny, this is a very gruesome story, and like you said, this is a very tight community. It's really hard for them to understand, let alone anyone to comprehend something like this. But like you said, Gago brutally killed four people in this house behind me. You can see that investigators are still on scene, and they've been out here since Saturday night. And so deputies say that the 911 calls to this house were very intense. And when they got to the scene, they found one person dead outside of the house. Then they say they could hear more screams. Mark Gago was in the process of killing a child. Deputies shot Gago to death and saved that child, but deputies say he killed four of his family members. And a neighbor was the one who told Coin Six that Gago killed his nine month old daughter, his mother, stepfather, and his girlfriend. Two people survived the attack. That was a child and a woman. They were rushed to the hospital in an ambulance with undisclosed injuries. And the neighbor told Coin Six that the surviving woman was a friend of, from high school who was staying at the house. She said Gago came at her with an axe, but missed and hit the bunk bed that she was staying in. She said she was in a bunk bed, and that probably saved her life because he apparently couldn't get a good swing. The scene inside, I'm being told by investigators, is horrific. Uh, that it's a, uh, a once in a career type of scene. And Mark Gaga was 42 years old, and court documents out of Marion County show he'd been wanted for not paying child support. The Associated Press reports that Gago had been arrested in August of 2018 for unlawful possession of a weapon. Now, investigators say there were many weapons around the house, so they're still trying to figure out what exactly was used to kill four people. But they say he did not use a gun. And deputies often see brutal scenes, but they say this is a horrific scene, something that they've never seen before in their lives. And now as this investigation is still ongoing, there are five deputies and one sergeant that are on paid administrative leave following this shooting. But for now, reporting live in Canby, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.